Now that we have our lines traced, we are going to be painting. So when we are painting, because this jar is see-through, we are going to have the colors change a little bit because the jar will um, change our perspective on how those colors look when you are looking through the jar. So we're going to have darker colors um, around our edges where we are not looking through the jar. And then when we paint this part, um, where we're looking through the jar and we can see the sky in the background and we can see the grass in the background, we are going to make those colors just a little bit lighter. All right. So we will start by painting our blue background and you are using your dry temperas. So you will start by getting your paintbrush wet in the water and then we'll start with blue. You're swirling into that color 10 times and then start applying it um, around the outside edges of the jar. Now that the sky has been painted in um, that darker blue color, next you will be mixing uh, the color of blue that you will see through your jar. So instead of just using regular blue, you're going to mix your blue with white. So I would go and swirl into my blue, add it over here to my white so that it lightens it up. Maybe add a little extra water to get that color mixed. Once it's all mixed up, then I would go and paint in my jar. Uh, and you want to do your best to stay in the lines and keep all of your brush strokes going the same direction. After your light blue is done in your jar, then you will move on to the green. Um, make sure you clean out your brush by dabbing it in the color. Um, next we'll need to get our green wet, so we'll swirl into that, add a little extra water for the first time. And then we will be painting the green, this darker green, around the outside edge of the jar. After the dark green is done being painted around the jar, then again, because we're looking through this clear drawer, we are going to lighten up the color to kind of change that up. So we'll be mixing both green and yellow to lighten up our green this time. So we'll stir into the green and then I'm going to add it to my yellow. Maybe add a little extra water into my yellow so that I have this nice light green color. And then I will be putting this color into the rest of my jar where the, I will see the grass through the jar. The last step is then to paint the jar, the lid of your jar, and you can choose which color you would like to paint that. Just make sure that you swirl into that color ten times um, and you stay within the lines. And that should be done quite quickly. And you are done painting. The next step will be to draw and color in some bugs. Awesome work!